coach just to mention with Ken Handles Basketball, and today I'm going to break down the three main crossover concepts. These are powerful concepts you can use to beat defenders. I'm going to go over all the details you need to know as far as how you can use them to fake out your defenders, get your shot off, get the basketball protected, get past your defender, and a ton more. And since I'm going to go over concepts rather than specific moves, this video is going to cover a ton of different actual moves, and you're going to find out a bunch of different ways to remix your moves, take the next level, and pretty much beat your defender no matter what they do. Before we jump into the details, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and that bell icon so you can catch the newest videos. And if there's anything else you want to see from my channel, make sure you check out my channel. I probably got a video already on it. But if I don't, leave me a comment, let me know, and I'll try to get you one for it. So these are all going to be concepts. And again, that's going to make it more flexible for you so in game situations you can react. If I just give you an individual move, it might work once or twice in the game, but after that, you're kind of stuck because your defender's going to know what's coming, right? Plus, this will give you options, whether you're a beginner or advanced player, to find a way to make it fit to your needs. Okay, the first concept is going to be really good for selling fakes on defenders and getting them to go flying. Keep in mind with all these concepts I'm going to give you, the best ball handlers are going to combo them together quite a bit. So the first concept they might use in different ways to combo it together, or they might bring the first concept in with the second one, or the first with the third, the second with the third, etc, etc, etc. And that's something you should be doing too to expand your handles, and that will give you a ton of options off the dribble. And at the end of the video, I'm going to have a way for you to take all these concepts to an extreme next level, something all the pro players have in common. The first one is going to be to sell the fake hard. And there's a lot of different ways you can go about this, a lot of moves. Some quick examples would be like an Iverson cross, right? A hesitate, and usually for these, you're going to step up with that same side foot, boom, go into the fake. But you can variate that a lot of ways, right? You can send from flying with that step and go behind the back. You can step out and go between the legs. You can step out and go reverse between the legs. Okay, bunch of ways you can remix that, but there's other ways of doing it. So that's just like your more basic type crossover. What about going into a snatch back, right? You can do your snatch back regular cross, you can do that reverse between the legs, or you can do that also behind the back. Another one would be, to really sell your fake, would be the stiff leg. So you would step with the opposite foot across the body and then go into the crossover. Most NBA guys, when you see them do that, they'll go between the legs for that. And then the final big way to go about this is to really get some momentum going in one direction, and that is your fake, your body movement, you know, going real fast in one direction, and then changing direction. John Wall does this really, really well. So you can again do that with a between the legs, regular cross, behind the back, you see Steph Curry do that a lot. Again, all your different individual regular dribble moves, you can bring into the mix with this to take it next level. But at the end of the day, what it amounts to is everything moving in the same direction. Basketball, eyes, foot, body, all in that same direction. Usually it's the same side foot as the hand that has a basketball. Sometimes it's the opposite foot. And make sure you sell that pick before you change direction. Click that like button if you did these tips and leave me a comment. Who do you think's better with these fakes? Kyrie Irving or Chris Paul? Second main concept is using the basketball as bait. Now there's a lot of different ways to go about this. So again, take this concept and go wild with it. One of the most common ways to see NBA guys doing this is a shot fake hesitation or just even a regular hesitation to get their defender a change of speed or to make them think they're gonna shoot. And that's gonna bait the defender to come for the basketball or close the gap on them. So from there, you can take advantage of that and go by them with a bunch of different crossovers. So first would be just a tight cross in front of the body, you could go between the legs from that, you could go into a behind the back from that, you could go into a reverse between the legs from that. And you can set that up, right, from a bunch of different crossovers and then go into all those. So a lot of ways you can remix that concept, but that's just one way. Another way to use the ball is maybe you'll see Kyrie Irving do this a lot. He'll kind of push the basketball out there, up high, and he'll kind of bait the defender to go for the basketball, and then he'll go into his crossover. Or sometimes players will do it more of a sham guy to bait the defender to go for the basketball. And you can vary, again, all those two, right? Pushing it off the bait, going into a behind the back, pushing it off the bait, going into between the legs, pushing it off the bait, reverse between the legs. You can even push it off the bait and go into a spin move crossover. A lot of different ways you can remix that. And then the other way would be low bait. You'll see guys like Kyrie do this a lot, Stephen Curry, James Harden. Well, they'll basically be pushing the basketball, doing quick combos down low here, and they're just basically trying to get the defender to go for the basketball and reach in. And when a defender gets reaching in like this down low, what's gonna happen? They're gonna come over their knee, they're gonna be off balance, and they're moving forward, and it's really hard to move back. So when you get the defender kind of going for the basketball there, boom, 
easy to blow by. So that's the second main concept. But leave me a comment and let me know who you think is the best with that. The third one's gonna really take things next level for you and give you a lot of options. But make sure you share this video with some friends so you can work on these different concepts and play around with different ways of bringing them together. You guys will come up with a ton of ways to break down your defender. Third concept is something more the modern NBA players are starting to do, and this is gonna mess with your defender's head big time. And I call it mixed signal crossovers. There's a lot of different ways you can go about these. One of the common ways you're seeing a lot of guys, James Harden will do this a lot, so will Kyrie Irving. They'll cross over and step out the opposite direction at the same time. So you could do that obviously with your regular crossover, in between the legs, in reverse between the legs, or you're behind the back. That's one of the main ways you'll see guys do it. But you can also mess around with the footwork in that and the timing. So one of the other ways you can do it to mess with the timing would be to cross over and then step on as the ball's floating in that hand versus instead of doing it at the same time. You could also do that, of course, with that between the legs, then step up. Behind the back, then step up. Reverse between the legs, then step up. All those variations, you can add that step in a little bit later to delay the step. So what that's going to allow you to do is give a little bit bigger step than when you're doing it with the crossover. Because if you step up too far, then the ball ends up way over here. Now that first way is better kind of for freezing up your defender because it's really mixed signals, right? The ball's coming one way and your body's coming the other. Whereas the other one, you're really selling that fake after the crossover and trying to get him to jump that way. And then the third main way you use this concept would be more like on the move. You'll see like Kyrie Irving do this a lot. Um, some other guys like James Harden will use this on their setup. And basically the concept is to move both your feet and your entire body across the basketball. And you're not even really crossing the basketball over. You're just pushing it straight down and moving your body across with like a little hop or a one-two shuffle, okay? Like a defensive shuffle almost. And since your body's moving across the basketball, you will switch hands. But you'll see Kyrie also do this kind of a little behind the back. He'll just push the basketball straight down when he feels like he's getting tight to the defender and they're starting to close an angle off on him. So push it straight down, locate it behind him and switch hands behind the back. Um, you could also do it with a between the legs, kind of to mess with your defender's head. You could do it with a reverse between the legs. So a lot of different ways you can play around with this and take it next level to mess with your defender's head. Now the way to take all this stuff next level I was telling you about that I would have it for you at the end of the video is to work on taking that speed next level. This YouTube video right here I got for you will help you get a much, much faster handle. Make sure you check that video out. It's going to help you a ton, I'm sure of it. And if you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and click that bell icon to catch the newest videos, and grab your free workout. It's a top link in the description. Pop your email, trail thousands of players. I'm sure it'll help you too, and it's 100% free. Thanks for watching, and make moves today.